Hello everybody. I really enjoyed watching the what I eat in a day video um, that I did last week. So I'm doing another one to be completely honest with you. Um, um, I liked watching back what I ate. I watched it a few times actually. I thought it was interesting and since I've watched a lot of other people as well I'm just a little bit hooked with these at the minute. So I hope you lot are all doing good and let's begin my day. This time again, quarter, well, quarter ten to eight in the morning. So this little beauty is waiting for me now. So here's one I made earlier. <laughs> this is, um, if you watch her, Naomi Smart um, on YouTube. She did a breakfast video the other day. So this was one of her recipes. So this is an overnight oat pot. And in here is um, almond milk, raisins. So I chopped up some almond nuts. Oh man, I can't remember. Chia seeds. Right, let's think logically. Milk, oats, raisins, and a grated apple, cinnamon, chia seeds, and yeah, some chopped almonds. And I think that's everything. Isn't it crazy how I only made it last night? Um, so I think, let's have a look what it looks like. It actually <coughs> doesn't look very nice, but I know it's going to taste amazing because I love this sort of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is scoop this into a bowl but can you see how it's all plumped up and fluffed up mmm look so good people right let's get it into a bowl so here it is I dolloped into a bowl because I just thought why on earth not you can see like the raisins poking through the apple and the chia seeds so this is brekkie fast and what I'm about to go eat now so I'll see you later potatoes it's half past ten now and it's time for a snack and I made these the other day from the little blog of vegan and it is a um, cashew butter, lemon, um, mush banana, oat sort of flapjack thingy. It's really nice actually, I like it a lot so I'm going to eat that now. Dinner time is on us again so it's ten to two, a bit different time than before. So water, I'm having an egg again, I'm always having eggs. Water is boiling and these have only just come back into my life after a long time out. Beans, but I have got these ones. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's some light. These whole earth saucy organic baked beans, um, and the ingredients are really good. There's no rubbish in there, no sugars or anything along them lines. So I have got them heating up. So poached egg's going to be in there. Got this nice toast, massive toast. Toast in. And I'll show you when we're done. Here we go. I've never had these beans before. So I don't know what they're going to be like. Let's do the moment of truth again. It's a must. Ready? One minute. Wash, gush, gush, gush. Oh, man. So good. Runny eggs, beans, and nice brown toast. Beautiful. Just what I need, to be honest with you. Right, let's try these beans. Never had them. We'll see. Oh, God. So as you're getting a zoom there. Mmm, nice. And, do you know, even though there's no sugar in them, you can't tell the difference between Heinz, the brand everybody likes and loves. So that is good. I am impressed now. I'm going to tuck him because I'm so ready for this. Mm -mm -mm. And I know it's not um, what I'm eating right now, but I've just gotten a big old order from Holland and Barrett. And I thought, actually, what I got, and don't you just love these? like air package parcel things to put glass in. I just think they're so cool. Yes. Anyway, I got um, a packet of puffed buckwheat, which is, um, you can have as a cereal or like a topping on granola or whatever you sort of want to. I like the taste of it. It kind of just pops and fizzles in your mouth. I like it a lot. I do not know if I've ever had um, jumbo oats before. I'm trying to zoom in for you. I've always wanted to try massive jumbo oats, so I got a packet. I got a kilogram and another kilogram because oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you the prices. This was the buckwheat, which is totally out of focus. The buckwheat was one ninety nine. The oats were. Uh, where is it? Organic oats. Oh, they're quite expensive. God, more than I thought. Oh well. For so these two, they were £5.18. I got two of these, as you have just seen, because I've just eaten one downstairs, which I really, really liked. These were 
£1.35 each, which to be fair isn't too bad because each can for me is like two servings, so £2.70 for four like baked beans, which is pretty good going if you think about what it would be if you have baked beans in a cafe. I got the old favourite because I'm running out of coconut oil um, and I did quite well. I mean, coconut oil, if you know where I can get it cheaper and like, you know, with postage and packaging becomes cheaper, please let me know. But I got these two, how much do you get? 453 grams and this was oh my god both of them were 30 pounds 98 so what 15 pounds 40 uh, nine each which is quite a lot but still i got two big old coconut jars i got i love these and i've never had the apple flavor i've had pineapple mango raspberry strawberry and i love them so much so now i've got an apple one yo-yo bear these were £1.38 for both of them, that's pretty decent. I got, because um, I do a bit of a recipe, well it's deliciously Ella's recipe actually, but you use cashew butter with the buckwheat flakes or some brown rice puffs and it makes a really nice um, like square, um, you know like them squares bars with marshmallows that you used to have when you were a kid? It makes them, so I got two of these, the Meridian cashew butter and they were £5.98 for both of them. So two fifty two ninety eight or something each, somewhat along them lines. And then I didn't order these. I got them for free, but I'll probably give them somewhere else because I don't have sugar. Because you see, let me zoom in. You've got to be think about things like this. It says sugar free, and then you look at the ingredients. It's these thingies, but where is it? I don't know how to say it. I'm going to end up saying it wrong. But aspartamine or however you say it. Um. That's a form of sugar, which is just as bad as normal sugar, so, yeah, fair enough. It's, you know, genuine, actual sugar-free, but it's just got a load of sugar replacements in it, so, for me, I'm sure they taste amazing, and it's all great, but for me, I can't eat them. Um, so, yeah, somebody will, I'll give them to somebody, or maybe put them in the car. So, that is my little Holland and Barrett haul. So, yeah, actually, oh, I've got two cans of bean, obviously, but I did it at a saving time and I managed to save a total of I used a credit coupon that I got for building my Holland and Barrett Barrett points up so I saved £1.20 there so that was knocked off and then because I spent over £20 I got the postage free so that was two ninety nine knocked off and then um, on the penny deals and buy one get one freeze and things like that I saved £16.16 16, so altogether I saved about £18 which is really really good so that was yeah £30.85 pence, which is ridiculous but apart from the beans obviously and these they'll last me for ages Ding. it's half free and it's snack time so I've got um, hot water with fresh lemon and ginger root shoved in there and these are deliciously Ella's um, Chia Gingerbread Biscuits, which is so delicious. So I've got a couple of them and that's snack time. It's quarter past five, which I realise isn't really particularly late. I don't usually have my tea at this point. So yesterday for tea we had um, a roast beef dinner and my mum did too many mashed potatoes. So they was in the fridge over the night from yesterday, proper like normal potatoes, fresh. Um, so they're mashed and some carrots and then I've got some why is that not focusing there we are tuna chunks in spring water oh I don't use that in spring water I use that in brine but nevertheless I've um, got some petit pois peas and some spinach so what I'm going to do is mash this up a bit put some tuna into it put the spinach into it and I'm going to have tuna fish cakes so I basically it looks disgusting, I kind of agree with you, but I've mixed it all up in there, I've put it in a scoop because I like to scoop it out evenly. I've got my pan going, just shimmer this around, and then literally I just do this, dollop, and then I'm going to repeat that process and they'll get cooking. So they are cooking now and I usually do, it's on a low heat, and I usually do 10 minutes on one side and then turn them over and 10 minutes on the other. And by the way, when you turn them over, they usually get wrecked. But nevertheless, they are cooking. 
and then I'll get a pan on for my peas. So here it is, it's quarter to six now. So I've got green beans and peas and then I made my big, it, see it all kind of clumps together when you do it but my big tuna fish cake which has got obviously mash, potatoes, carrots, spinach and a whole can of tuna in it and I'm going to tuck in and eat it now, I really really like it. So that is a pretty good quick and good for your tea when you come in, mm, it's really hot as well and you can't really be bothered doing much. So I'm going to enjoy this now.